So looking at GTEC's new armor lock encrypted drive. So the box just has the drive itself in, some documentation and different USB cables you might need. Right, so just plug it in and it's got an LED showing that the drive's locked. It tells us in the very short instructions that we need to go to the app store to download armor lock. We have no drives assigned to this phone yet, so I need to add a drive. So I'll press add drive. And then it looks for QR codes on the back. It's doing that. It should find the drive. There we are. And this is a new drive we've assigned. So there's a raise and setup is new. And it's recognized as it's plugged into a Mac. That we want it to be formatted for Mac OS. So you can also add location tracking onto the device, which will tell you the last known location of the device. Okay, as soon as it's formatted, it comes out of uh, the recovery key and we can save that. It's relatively straightforward from here. The device is currently locked. If we want to unlock it, we can press the button and now it's unlocked and we can use it the same as any other drive. There it is, armor lock and it's ready to use. And if we want to lock it again, it says use the computer to eject and lock the drive. So that is the only way of locking it again. And we can also add extra security into this, turning on user authentication. Now, when you try to unlock it, you have to have your touch ID or your facial ID, depending on which phone you're using. And we have a number of other options. We can secure or raise the whole drive. We've got multiple armor locks, handy to have different colors for different drives that you've got. We continue to add more and more of the armor lock drives, depending on the scale of your production. Seems a great idea, and I think it'll be a real bonus for productions to be able to access a drive like this.